I'm a children's book author of many books. Here are my, here are my books. There you go. I mostly do nonfiction. Here's the book, my newest one. Here's the one before that one. This one's very popular. But today I thought I'd read you a fiction book I wrote a long time ago. So before I started writing nonfiction, I wrote fiction. It's this one. It's out of print, so I can read the whole thing for you right now. The Adventures of Patty in the Big Red Bus by Megan McCarthy. Dedicated to the memory of the real bus, with its charming rusted holes and flighty side door, and to all of the neighborhood kids who helped make it a jungle gym even when it wasn't moving. R.I.P. Big Red Bus. Special thanks to my sister for this sibling rivalry. You'll always be number two in my eyes. Every day I visit my bus, and sometimes my sister comes along. We climb in and drive away. Up, up, up. I drive the bus. Co-pilot. Expert driver. To the top of the tallest mountains. And down, down, down. To the very bottom of the deepest oceans. I put on my goggles and dive in to search for sunken treasure. I tell my sister to stay inside the bus where it's safe. Because she can't swim and she might drown. Next, we drive into a big city full of cars and buses and taxis. My bus speeds through the traffic. I need to arrive and put out a giant building fire. I tell my sister to wait by the bus because she could get burnt while I save the day. Helper, hero. On we drive to the big top circus. Millions of clowns pile into my bus. I tell my sister to get out because she might get squished. Funniest clown, not so funny clown. Then all of the clowns jump out as the crowd cheers. I drive on. My bus turns into a shiny red metal spaceship and flies high into the black sky. We soar past the stars, the sun, the planet, and even Mars. Skillfully, I land the bus on the moon's bumpy surface. I tell my sister to stay inside where it's safe while I go out and investigate. Brave one, too little and scared. But suddenly, a giant space rock comes flying toward me. Luckily, it doesn't hit me. Once I've done enough brave things, we drive back to Earth, back to where home is. I land the bus safely on the ground just where it was before. And that's where my bus sits. She needs a nap. I don't. Until our next big adventure. Me! My bus, my sister, my play area, where I live, my sandbox. E N. For more information about my books, please visit www.megan-mccarthy.com. And thanks.